Okay, well, my brother Bob was in the Marvel, uh, which was my first exposure to comics. I was basically reading comics before I could read. And born in 1963, I was right there at the first steps of Marvel when I was taking mine. And then in seventh grade, Bob bought me a subscription to Spider-Man for my Christmas present. Um, you know, it's all kind of what you're exposed to first. I never really picked up a comic book um, ever, um, kind of on my own. And then, you know, a group of friends, um, gosh, we were probably, we were probably 11, 12 years old and um, they were reading X-Men books. Um, and that was pretty much all they were reading. Um, and I picked it up from them. Spider-Man was actually probably the first comic that I really read, understood, and, and got a hold of. Um, and then just with the way Marvel writes, I was thinking about this. Um, and it's like, not that there was anything wrong with DC, and that DC had some great characters, but I think it was the Marvel style that they had. It was a little more mature, uh, a little more earthy, a little more real. X-Men, yeah, it was, uh, trying to think of, of, of kind of the era. Um, Art Adams was doing a lot of the artwork, um, and I always, you know, I knew I wanted to be an artist, and, and from the very beginning, um, his, his art, his cover art, it just jumped out at me, and it, this was the days of uh, Rogue and, 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 and uh, you know, Psylocke, Dazzler was there, and Longshot, you know, they were always fighting the Juggernaut, you know, and, and it just, you know, it just jumped off the pages. I like the, like I said, I think it was the style of writing um, and the artwork. Um, Stan Lee put it that DC basically wrote for an age group of, say, 9 to 13, whereas Marvel went from like 13 to 16. And when I started reading them, I was thir about 13 years old. Um, so I think that had a lot to do with it. It was the stories and the characters, and what I did like about it was, you know, going through that awkward stage of being 12, you know, and, and, and 12 and 13, um, I, I identified with some of the X-Men. I mean, as crazy as it sounds, I guess, you know, they were misfits. I mean, they were telling a story about a group of people who just didn't fit in. And that's, for a 13-year-old boy, you know, Lanky and, and Acne and the rest, you know, they were talking to me. And I always felt like you were a part of something with Marvel. I felt like they were enjoying what they were doing. Um, not to say DC didn't. Again, I never read enough of them to say, but... Just Stan's little soapbox was, you know, hey gang, you know, guess what we're doing now? And it was always really enthusiastic and he was always fired up. And I just felt like, you know, these guys are really into entertaining um, the masses. What, what's interesting to me is, is, is characters with flaws. Um, characters, you know, like Wolverine, you know, characters like Magneto, who are, are deeply troubled individuals, they're very tragic. I grew up with pencil in hand, basically, always sketching and playing around. Mostly did animals, flowers, dinosaurs, because my grandmother was very much into that. And she wanted me to continue the education. She always used to tell me, you know, you need to get to art school, you need to tell your mom and dad. And she pretty much kept that flame going. And what comic books did for me is that they kind of opened up, you know, it opened up to a whole nother level. It inspired my imagination um, being kind of a budding artist at the time you know it, it showed me that stories can be told a different way it was just great fun it's good times well Marvel's clearly the better uh, comic book <laughs> <laughs> I have to say that's my buddy Randy thanks a lot Randy thank you that's Rob Meyer thank you for your time thanks guys